Now, you might want to explore red flags. Red flags, right? Red flags. This is all this is a big question we all have to consider is someone's red flags and I want you to know that I've been thinking about red flags in the concept of strengths and weaknesses. Weaknesses, turnoffs, flaws, that kind of perspective of red flags, looking at it from that lens. And someone posted a question or a comment on one of my videos that I want to read with everybody. And I'm going to, we're going to look at Jonathan's red flags as an illustration to explore this for yourself going forward. Someone wrote, so by your own admission, Jonathan, we know from re past recordings and comments that you are needy, clingy, analyze everything to death, and you're not a social director. Now, she also went on to say it's nice when someone is aware of their traits and weaknesses, okay? All right, I've actually spent time exploring my weaknesses. And I'm going to share something with everyone. I'm going to give you a list of my weaknesses, my flaws, my turnoffs. But I'm also going to give you a list of what I think are the good parts of who I am. And I invite you all to do this for yourself. Okay, one of my weaknesses, it could be a turnoff, it could be a red flag. I'm a nervous traveler. I'm just going to own it. I'm a nervous traveler. I'm just not good. When I'm in a place where I don't feel safe, I, I'm working on this. I'm trying really hard to be conscious and aware and to not allow my emotions to, my fear, my anxieties to get ahead of me. And I mean, I don't think I'm obnoxious in this capacity, but it just happens to be a weakness of mine. Is that a red flag? I don't know. Could that mean I'm not protective? I don't know what that means that. Is it a turnoff? Yeah, for some woman, it might be a turnoff. You have to look at a person's weaknesses and say, is this really a turnoff or a red flag for you? I'm not a good social director. Certainly, I can plan dates on occasions, but that's just not my strength. I'm better served with somebody who's a, ser a social director, and I'm a good follower in that case. Well, Jonathan, it sounds like you're not very masculine. You must be feminine. Isn't that sad that there's the judgment and opinions I hear when I'm just sharing my truth? I'd like to think some of my other good parts are very masculine, okay? Um, I desire regular validation and appreciation. I've often said I'm needy or clingy, but I'm, I'm just, I would prefer to be with someone who can genuinely express appreciation towards me and listen, I'm a Leo. We like to be complimented. We like to be adored. So I maybe more than most guys, but I recognize that this is maybe a weak, it might be a strength, it might be a weakness, who knows? I'm opinionated. Oh, many of you know that. I'm obsessed with human behavior. My personal life and my professional life are so intertwined with one another that I can absolutely be kind of one dimensional. I have a big nose. I could stand to lose 15 pounds. I have slight high blood pressure. I tune out when I feel like a story is boring or I get rather righteous when I think people are just being stupid. I'm into plant-based medicine and I like to do journeys. And I desire financial reciprocity when dating, meaning I like to be with a woman who wants to take turns. Some of these could be a red flag to some women. These could be turnoffs. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because I'm inviting you to explore your own life from the perspective of strength and weaknesses, turnoffs, flaws, good parts, um, red flags, green flags for yourself. Now, I'd like to think I come to the table with some green flags. I genuinely care about people. Many of you said to me, Jonathan, I appreciate how much you genuinely care with the amount of passion you express on your channel. I'm able to express my feelings. I consider that a gigantic strength. I consider that, okay, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to say what Brene Brown says. It takes a tremendous amount of courage to be able to express someone's feelings, which is masculine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, 
I'd like to think I'm more evolved than most men in this capacity. I'm protective by nature. I really am. Um, with the people that I love, I'm incredibly protective. I want the best for them. I'm a good listener. I care about my partner's feelings. See, as I'm sharing this, I gave you a list of things that I thought were weaknesses, but really when you're examining, and by the way, I'm only doing this for you to do for yourself, is to examine what your strengths are, what you bring to the table, but also where other people might judge you because it might be an insecurity, it might be a turnoff, it might be a flaw. I said, I'm a good listener. I care about my partner's feelings. I believe in building trust in a relationship. I think that's superior compared to a lot of people. I believe in being an in integrity in relationship. I believe in being vulnerable, being authentic, being transparent in a relationship. I believe in partnership, teamwork, shared vision, empathy, care. Play, fun, passion, trust, all of these things I believe in. And I'd like to think I demonstrate this in romantic relationship. What's the other good part of me? Look, I'm six foot two and I have a full head of hair and I don't color my hair, folks. And I'm a late baby boomer, okay? I'm saying these are these the good parts of me. I don't know. I'm inviting you all to sit down and really examine what you bring to the table in a romantic relationship. What, what is your strengths? What are your, and, and the fact that I'm in, inviting you to explore weaknesses, because when you actually identify, like, okay, when I come back to sharing, I'm a nervous traveler and I'm not a good social planner as an example, by identifying that, I can be upfront with someone who has expectations in this area. See, oftentimes we date with so many expectations, and I'm here to share where I recognize where I have weaknesses. Could I get better at it? Yeah. Could I lose weight? Yeah. Could I get my nose done? I don't know. <laughs> um, but these areas of my life, it's, I think the point is when we can be truly introspective, when we can look inward and really get a sense of who we are, we actually come to the table in a romantic relationship with a lot more substance, a lot more depth. And I'm inviting you all to do this for yourself. And I'm inviting you to encourage men to bring this out of them. I believe, ladies, I genuinely believe most men are good guys. I do believe that. I just think they're bad daters for the most part. I do believe that there are, it's, it, there are great men out there and they just need a little bit of encouragement. And since women have a tendency to be the more the driver of the romantic end of the relationship, I'm inviting women to lead the train to get them to their heart. And by exploring all of these questions that I've outlined in this, in this video, and exploring your strengths, exploring your weakness, exploring what's good about you, to explore maybe what's a turnoff or a flaw, the red flags and green flags. You actually put yourself in a much greater position to find that juicy, delicious, healthy, happy relationship you seek. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? If it is, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos as well. And also, if you want to connect with me directly, hey, there's links below to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with the coach is right for you. There's my group called Midlife Love Mastery. There's all the books I recommend. There's even my dating vows. You can even get my free gift. You can join my groups. Everything is listed below. I invite you to check them all out right now.